oh, what a breath of fresh air this game is. Bellatro has been a pleasure to find, and I'm super excited to talk about it. So first off, this game is available on the PC, and it, I imagine it's not very different, but I'm playing this on the iPhone. So truthfully, I feel like this game is kind of hard to describe how to play. It's kind of like a poker slash Yahtzee roguelike with very interesting elements that allow you to have crazy high scores. The main mechanic in here that stands out, in my opinion, is the Joker system. So every single run, you have a chance to unlock completely different Jokers. Some Jokers have a somewhat mild effect, where others have a crazy effect. I've had some runs where every single score, it takes me one play, and I am literally getting like 10 to 20 times the goal of the score that I need. I will say that as someone who watched YouTube videos on this game before playing it, I still didn't really understand how to play based on watching it. So my advice to you guys is just jump in and give it a shot. At the end of the day, you're trying your best to get high scores using combination pairs with your cards. So that could be things like full house, two pairs, three of a kind, straight. There's all kinds of ways to get points. The more you play, the more comfortable you'll get with that. I really don't know any other game that is similar to this. This game is really unique and I feel like that's what makes it pretty special. Now another thing that makes this game pretty special is just the overall vibes. The graphics are great, the fact that the background is constantly changing is awesome. The music in this game is special. I heard that going into this and that is not a disappointment. Oh my goodness, this game, the music I think really contributes to the overall experience, it really gets you sucked in. And man, it's just a good time. This game honestly gets really addicting based on the mechanics of just going on long runs and then also the amazing vibes together creates this experience that you're not going to want to put down. The simplicity of the playstyle of this game makes the performance on point. This game runs perfectly on an iPhone. I imagine it runs perfectly on most computers. So I give this game credit. It's very versatile. This game offers a lot of replayability because over time you continue to unlock new jokers and you also unlock new decks. Those together allow you to go on even further runs and those further runs will take even more time and you'll just find yourself getting really sucked into this game. But I honestly recommend it. It's a really chill game. It's a really great game to just unwind to. It's a great game to listen to a podcast. If you're playing like a really intense PC game, this is like a really good supplemental game that you can play to kind of turn your brain off in my opinion. I guess my only quote unquote complaint would be that there are some runs that you just don't get good jokers at all and it kind of just wastes your time, but it's not really a complaint. It's just part of the luck of the draw. That was really the only negative that I could come up with. Overall, I would suggest this game for just about everybody. I think even for non-gamers or very casual gamers, this game is extremely appealing. Anybody could pick this game up. I got a new phone and part of that phone came with the Apple Arcade trial. So I actually got to play this game for free. And again, I don't think that the experience on the phone is that much different than a PC experience. But regardless, give this game a shot. Go play it. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much if you've made it this far. I really do appreciate it. Please go ahead and have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.